Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. Uh, I'm here in uh, St. George, Utah, or technically it's Washington, Utah, at a Electrify America charging site at a Walmart. And uh, you know, this is a really nice implementation. It's just off of Interstate 15. Uh, it went in a while ago. Uh, you know, it's sort of just bad timing. The first time I was here, it was under construction. The fences were up, but none of the units were in place. But uh, it's since gone online. And you know, this is a pretty standard uh, Electrify America site. It's got four ABB charge. Two of them are 350 kilowatt and two of them are 150 kilowatt and then there's the one uh, 50 kilowatt Chatamo head. Now this is an interesting site because I actually didn't think it was going to score as high as it did uh, and part of it is off the back of just how important this site is, right? Because Interstate 15 is a really important corridor. It's a connecting corridor between Salt Lake City, between Denver, and all of the West Coast, basically, or the Southern West Coast, if you will. So like Los Angeles, San Diego, all of those cities, you're gonna be passing through I-15 more than likely if you wanna connect through to, like I said, Denver, or to Salt Lake City, or places like that. Let, let's just jump right into the site score. For accessibility, I actually knocked this site down quite a bit, even though it has a feature that I really like. So I only gave it an eight out of 10 for accessibility. And the reason for that is it's just off the freeway, right? But it's kind of hard to get to. There's a, there's a lot of turns, a lot of lights, and this is a high traffic area. This is a busy town, or at least at this point in time when I visited, it was busy. It took me probably three to four minutes, maybe five minutes total to get from the freeway to here, and that's not that far. You're only talking about maybe half a mile to a mile at most of driving. And uh, yeah, it just, it took a long time to get here and navigate to the chargers. And then of course, the other thing is, this is a super busy parking lot. Now, surprise, surprise, all of these chargers are open and available. Nobody is icing them, nobody is blocking them. But just as a general rule, I've been knocking down retail sites one notch. And that's why it's getting that eight out of 10. But one notable thing is th this charging site has full pull through parking. Basically every single one of these stalls, if you have a trailer, you could just pull right in. Now you're gonna be hanging out into another parking spot, but hey, that's gonna happen with the trailer anyway. So yeah, I'm really impressed in that regard. So if you're towing, if you're pulling a trailer, this is gonna be a great site for you. Uh, it's just a little bit far you know, off the, the freeway in terms of time to get here. And then you have to worry about if it's busy, you know, whether you can access it. But otherwise it's getting an 8 out of 10 for access. Now for amenities, I actually scored this a 9 out of 10 and really because the main things that are missing from this site are some sort of a solar canopy or covering and a level 2 charger. Otherwise, you know, you have the Walmart here, you have some stores here. I don't really like bump up the score for retail shopping, but there are restaurants that are within walking distance. So in that regard, you know, you have a lot of different amenities to choose from. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here. This is basically like the, the center of town, right? And there are a lot of places that have takeout food. So you could literally just grab dinner as you exit the freeway and bring it with you over here. So, you know, you have lots of options. And so I'm giving it a nine out of 10 for amenities. Now for site concentration, you know, this only has four DC fast chargers. So my standard go-to right now is I'm going to treat these as just a little bit above average. Three charger site would get five out of 10, a four charger site gets six out of 10 for site concentration, especially a site like this that needs to, to help with interstate travel. You need to have maybe more than just four units. Uh, it would be nice to even see two, two more units. I know a lot of people don't think that uh, 
I-15 maybe is as traveled, but it's a very busy corridor. And I think, you know, this is important because it's also a gateway to places like Zion National Park, to Bryce Canyon, to a lot of tourist places, a lot of national parks, places people want to go. So I, I really do want to see like these sites have a little bit more in terms of number of chargers, but um, you know, four is better than none and it's better than the one that's at the Mavericks down the street. So for site concentration, this site's getting six out of 10. For location though, I've been going on about this, but I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. This is a really important site. It's basically helping to connect Las Vegas to Salt Lake City to Denver. This is a big connecting corridor. Now, yes, there were other chargers along this route. However, you know, they're not that close, right? So this is a good gap filler between like the Electrify American, Cedar City, and in Mesquite. And then the rest of the chargers along this route are only 50 kilowatts. So uh, this was gonna be a big help for faster charging vehicles, uh, trying to make it down the interstate as fast as they can. So again, this is an important site and uh, yeah, it's rightfully, I think, getting a 10 out of 10 for site location. And then speed, of course, Electrify America, 350 kilowatt chargers. There are no faster chargers right now. There are no vehicles that charge that fast right now. So you can't help but score it a 10 out of 10, right? There's not, There's literally nothing better right now. So really it's nothing else to say about it. It's just a 10 out of 10 for speed. Now that brings the total site score to a 43 out of 50. Again, that's a very good site score. It actually surprised me, but when I think about it logically, when I think about the importance of this site, how, you know, how helpful it's going to be, uh, you know, the accessibility, even though it had a couple of knocks on it, uh, the amenities, this is kind of like the travel sites that we really need to see more of. So uh, good job to Electrify America. I'm happy to see it here in Utah. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm impressed. Let me know if you've had a chance to use these chargers. Uh, do you travel the I-15 corridor very often? Uh, do you know people who do? If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel helps me make this content go on these trips and uh thank you for watching